Hola mi gente and welcome back to another episode of Sticky Counters. Now today, we're gonna be making a delicious classic cocktail called The Last Word. Now this beautiful cocktail was actually a Prohibition era style drink that was created at the Detroit Athletic Club. Unfortunately, the cocktail, you know, the popularity started dying down and people weren't drinking it. But in 2004, a bartender by the name Murray Stenson actually revived the cocktail at the Six Act Cafe in Seattle. So now the cocktail is back. So how do you make this? You're going to need four ingredients. First one, your lime. Luxardo maraschino liqueur, gin, and green chartreuse. Now I'm gonna be explaining each ingredient as we go. So the first thing that we need to do is grab our lime and roll it out. So now cut it right in half. And we're gonna squeeze out an ounce of fresh lime juice. Squeeze everything right in there. Look at that, I'm making a mess, but who cares? Why? Because it's sticky counters, baby. There you go, we have an ounce. Now we grab our small tin, and all we gotta do is just throw it right in there. Now the next ingredient is our green chartreuse. Now what is green chartreuse? Why is it so green? Well, this is an herbal liqueur that was created in 1737, made by monks. Now it has about 130 different herbs and spices, which is gonna be really nice in this drink. We're gonna be adding an ounce of this liqueur right in there. Now the next ingredient is our Luxardo Maraschino Liqueur. It's gonna give that umph that we want, some sweetness that we want in the drink as well. So we're gonna be adding an ounce of that. Such an easy cocktail, I mean this is all equal parts. And then the last ingredient is going to be our gin. We're actually using a citrus forward gin called Komasa. This is a Japanese gin made from tangerines. So the tangerines are actually called komikan. Now the original recipe for making the last word is usually made with a London style gin. So something a little bit heavier on the juniper, something that has that Christmas tree flavor. But what I wanted to do here was actually add more citrus to it to kind of just liven up the cocktail. So we're using Kamasa gin made with the komikan tangerines. So let's add an ounce. And as soon as I opened it, I mean, you could just smell that fresh citrus coming out of the bottle. It's beautiful. So let's set that to the side. Let's grab some ice, throw it into our tin. Grab the big shaker, hit it two times. One, two, flip it over. Think of your favorite song and just start shaking up the cocktail. Perfect, we have it nice and cold. Now let's grab our coupe glass and we're going to double strain this cocktail. And why are we double straining the cocktail? Because we don't want any of those ice particles or any unwanted ingredients in the coupe glass. So we strain everything in there. I mean, look at that beautiful color. It just looks refreshing, really nice. And no garnish needed for this one. And there you have it, a delicious last word cocktail that was popular during Prohibition era, then died down, but it became popular again in 2004. So thank you, Murray Stenson from Six Act Cafe for reviving this drink in 2004 because it's become one of my favorite classics. So there you have it, the last word. Cheers. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. And if you wanna see more content like this, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.